invited by the African Union Commission to the 2011 commemoration of the Africa Food and Nutrition Security Day. The Africa Rise Center Director General Dr. Papa Abdullah Isek affirmed the center's full commitment to the goals of this day. We have a common vision for an Africa free from hunger and poverty. We will work tirelessly to achieving that in line with the agreement recently signed with the African Union Commission, said Dr. Sek, in his message delivered at this year's commemoration of the Africa Food and Nutrition Security Day, which was held on the 31st of October, 2011, in Addis, Ethiopia. Dr. Sek emphasized that for over four decades, Africa Rice has been a strong partner in Africa's development, providing improved technologies such as the Narica Rice varieties. Some Naricas have higher protein content than imported varieties and can thus play a significant role in combating malnutrition in the continent where more than 50 million children suffer from chronic malnutrition. The Africa Food and Nutrition Security Day was endorsed by the African heads of state and governments during the 15th African Union Summit. The theme for this year's edition was Investing in Intra-African Trade for Food and Nutrition Security in Africa. Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, I remain convinced that food security of Africa is achievable. Inaugurating the event, the African Union Commission Chairperson Dr. Jean Ping said, I do believe that if we are able to increase agricultural investment into African production systems, the emerging internal trade could support a dynamic rural economy that could uplift millions out of poverty. Intra-African trade could thus be the true motor to release the developmental energy of agriculture to enhance food and nutrition security. In other words, the battle against the standard and under nutrition is we never not. We never not. Yes. Ethiopia's double Olympic gold winner Haley Gebrzelasi delivered the keynote address at the meeting in his capacity as goodwill ambassador. It is unacceptable to have food surpluses in one side of the continent while the other side faces famine and starvation because of closed border laws and regulations put in place by us, he reiterated. The event was organized by the African Union Commission and NEPAD and co-hosted by the government of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. In addition to African Union Commission and NEPAD members, representatives from the Agriculture Ministry of Ethiopia, the Government of Malawi, the European Union, United Nations agencies, Africa Rise, and non-governmental organizations attended. The program included an exhibition of publications, posters, and multimedia products. A display by Africa Rice showcasing a wide range of rice-based food products was a major highlight of the event. We know that uh, if you take the case of rice, uh, Africa has been leading the war since 2008 in terms of increasing the production. 9% a year compared to Asia, which was more or less flat. Also, it has been leading the war in terms of increase in um, yield uh, uh, productivity. Intra-Africa trade, uh, focusing on commodities, for us at the African Union level, we collaborate with the institutions um, available. We have, for example, the Rice Center. Outside there, I hope you have been able to look at uh, the products from rice. So. Rice is a key commodity which we, we, in fact, import in plenty. But at the same time, we have the potential. The whole of West Africa, all the countries, even Central Africa, even Eastern Africa and Southern Africa, we can produce a lot of rice. The active presence of the Africa Rice delegation was highly appreciated by the African Union Commission. Africa Rice did us all proud at the Africa Food and Nutrition Security Day. We have enlarged opportunities now to work with Africa Rise in the context of the MOU signed by the two organizations.